What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Good evening already. Um, I quickly wanted to make two more videos, uh, couldn't stop myself. Wanted to check out, not Reef, even though Reef is, is pretty exciting too. I hold a little bit of Reef, so I'm, I'm checking uh, whether I'm going to sell or not. Uh, but in this video, I wanted to check out Sonum again, uh, which I have covered quite a bit, uh, or SNM, that's the abbreviation. Um, not too long ago, it got a stablecoin pair on Binance. Uh, as you can see, my mouse is doing some very weird things at this moment. Not sure why. Yeah, I cannot do anything. Let me see. All right, I'll just do it like this. <laughs> so it had some uh, pretty weird movements over the uh, over the last weeks, I think already. Uh, first time I covered it was with this move uh, at the end of August and then I also covered it when it had this move right here when it was uh, a little bit bullish um, but it didn't actually go anywhere and then it kind of fell flat and I'm not sure what my mouse is doing still I'm just going to plug it in plug it out hopefully you can still see me yes you can all right yeah this is better so um, the thing is is that today it actually had another bull run uh, yesterday we found resistance at 40 cents, took a break retest off of 35 cents, and then we broke through 45, 50 cents, 60 cents, 55 cents, massive breakout, uh, and we're right now at 77 cents. So the main thing I wanted to discuss and uh, analyze in this video is can we actually get higher than 77 cents? Uh, volume is amazing, 170 million compared to a 34 million market cap. So that definitely gives us some possibilities, right? And um, apart from that, it's already up 112%. That's a lot, all right? And obvious price target in this case, as you can see, uh, is, is $1. And what you can see, if we then actually take a look at the price, I mean, the statistics are all great, all right? Volume is great. Low market cap still, it's, uh, it's an old project, but it's still in business. It's still updating things. Um, so the thing is, is that we, uh, you can see that we rejected off of 75 cents. We also got some major fibs there, two of them, uh, and 75 cents is a huge psychological uh, key level. So the thing is right now is that we need to stay above 75 cents. If we can do that for 12 hours, at least we're going up to one dollar. All right, and I think this is the most likely scenario. I think we're getting up to five uh, to to a dollar, uh, and and from there I'll see again. I mean. Uh, I'm, I'm sure there's a chance to actually get all the way up to 1.25, but for that to happen, we would need a volume of, of at least 250 million. Uh, so keep an eye on that on coin market cap. If, if it goes up to 250 million, we can definitely go to 1.25. But on the other hand, and it's very important to realize that that staying above 75 cents is not only something technical, that's also a great indicator of momentum. All right, because if we break down below 75 cents soon, We'll find some support at 60 cents, but then we'll take a break retest, drop down to 55 and probably also drop down to this 50, 45 cents area. And then from there, we'll see again, maybe from there we'll get another uh, uh, run or maybe from there we'll drop down all the way to 30 cents. All right, because the Sonom is going to crash at some point. All right, maybe we can get higher before crashing, but it's going to crash at some point, a crash like this. Uh, that's just usually usually what happens with uh, bull runs like these, all right? Because there's there's there are no real fundamentals behind it, uh, right? So um, the thing is, I mean, I would just um, I would just watch out with it. Um, I would be very careful if you do want to trade it. Use some uh, very uh, use some stop losses. Don't risk more than you're willing to use. Um, and obviously, there's money to be made, but there's a lot of money to be lost too. So. Uh, that was my quick take on Sonom for now. If you do have any questions about it, feel free to ask me down in the comments. But for now, I'd like to thank you all for watching and listening, and I hope to see you all in my next videos. Take care today, and bye.